Good evening, everyone. The Idaho legislature is in session right now, and one of the topics on the docket involves foster care. KMBT's Alexa Tu explains why increasing the stipend for foster parents could prove to be beneficial. Ann Sharp loves opening her home as a foster parent. So we've had 13 in and out over the course of about four years, and ranging in ages just from newborn right out of the hospital, and we've had them turn 18 in our home and go out on their own. She doesn't do it for the money, but admits more would benefit the kids in her care. No one goes into foster care for the stipend. It's not a lot of money by any stretch, but it's for the kids, and it's to give them as normal of an experience in life as we can. In regard to stipends, Idaho pays the least to foster families than our six surrounding states. This is something the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare wants to change. We need to have foster parents, and so I feel like we need to have the ability to recruit them, to keep them, and to provide ongoing support. The Gem State currently ranks 45th through 49th in the nation in rates it pays to foster parents per age group. Lawmakers granted half the amount the Department of Health and Welfare requested last year. And this year we've gone back again to request the additional half. Legislators want to help, but are somewhat leery. I think it should be a fair dollar number, um, but it shouldn't be a business just to say, hey, I want a bunch of kids so I can get money. It should be, they should uh, want to do it. I do agree it's not about the money. It's about having adequate support to do the job that you've been asked to do around children who really have great need. But for foster parents like Sharp, a little goes a long way toward helping children in need. In Twin Falls, Alexa to you. The Idaho Department of Welfare is requesting $500,000 from the state this year. 